Hello all, welcome back to Audiology with Khwaja. In today's quick quest with Khwaja, we're going to see if the tympanometry and the reflexometry results are normal. Can we call it as a normal middle ear? Let's get into the video. I have come across a lot of reports mentioning uh, when the both side tympanograms are A-type and the reflexes are present, then it's been called as uh, both ears A-type tympanogram with Ipsy reflexes present, suggestive of no middle ear pathology or in some cases normal middle ear. So this video is about using such uh, words in our reports is correct or not. I recently developed a blocking sensation on my right side and I thought it will subside by itself but uh, I started having a bit of pain and I did otoscopy and I found out that the right side has some infection on the tear. You are currently looking at the otoscopic images. You see that the left ear is normal but the right side is not. So I wanted to know how is the tympanogram and how is the reflexes. So I was expecting AS on the right side actually, but it was A type on both sides. So now that the reflexes are more sensitive than the tympanometry, I uh, thought at least the reflexes would be absent. But to my surprise, both sides were symmetrical. It were, the reflexes were present in most of the frequencies. So if I have to report as per the reports that I have seen before, it would be both ears a type tympanogram with ipsy reflexes present on both sides suggestive of no middle ear pathology but actually we have seen the otoscopic images where the right ear has some pathology so using this term is totally inappropriate i also cannot say that uh, suggestive of normal middle ear because tympanic membrane is a part of middle ear and we have seen that the right tm is not normal so i can't even use that term so how is what is the right way of reporting when we look at our literature, the tympanometry or the reflexometry is a test to assess the functioning of the middle ear. So we are exactly checking only the function. So we will comment only about it. So what I would recommend to use it or any books that has been written on reporting or in the uh, adult case books from the theme publications, what they advise you to use the term is middle ear function. So how it should be written both ears a type tympanogram with ipsy reflexes or if you have done both contra mention it as both ipsy and contra uh, ipsy reflexes present suggestive of normal middle ear function this would be the right way if you think there is other way of reporting the tympanometry and the reflex reports please drop it in the comment section that would be helpful for us see you in the next video have a nice day